Well, here's the most iconic American fighter from the beginning of the Second World War, the Curtis P-40 Tomahawk. You can look at YouTube videos of uh, the air shows he used to have at this airfield when Paul was still alive. Here's a P-40. A very, very brand new looking P-40. Wow, this thing looks brand new. This is blowing me away, the condition of all the aircraft in this museum. The, the level of restoration is just over the top. Over the top. So this was in service at the beginning of the Second World War. Uh, for America. This airplane was manufactured in the US, was then purchased by the British and nearly immediately given to the Soviet Union in 1941. For almost a year, this airplane flew in combat in the skies over the Karelian Front in Russia, defending the Murmansk against the invading German forces. Major Ermer Ermakov was flying this aircraft on September 27, 1942, when the oil tank was punctured by enemy fire. Ermakov managed to, gl to glide the aircraft to a safe belly landing on a patch of snowy ground near Murmansk. It was later abandoned there. The plane was discovered in the early 1990s and recovered. The plane was ultimately rebuilt in Chino, California and became part of the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum in 1999. At the beginning of the Second World War, America did not have an air force. It had an army air corps and this was their their best fighter. It was their state-of-the-art fighter as they entered into World War II. The United States Air Force was formed in 1942. I believe these markings on the wings here, this was a flying tiger that went with volunteer pilots and flew combat against the Japanese in China before Pearl Harbor.